Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Zoho Mail, which is a secure business email that you can use for your organization. They do also have a forever free plan if you're interested in that as well, depending of course on the size and scale of your organization and your operation. Uh, Zoho Mail can be a great solution for you as maybe an alternative to other platforms such as Google Workspace and other professional email providers. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look here at Zoho Mail of course, in today's tutorial, how to use Zoho Mail for beginners, taking a look at a general overview and review of Zoho Mail, the pros and cons, sort of what you can expect when taking a look at Zoho Mail and getting into the back end as well. We are going to be taking a look at what it looks like on the inside of Zoho Mail once you're all signed up. And of course, before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you want to follow along and check out Zoho Mail, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description that will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with Zoho Mail mail uh, today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. And if you want to smash that like button, it really helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho Mail. So as I said before, this is a quite great alternative to a lot of the other types of professional mail platforms out there. One of the other main perks and benefits to getting set up with a platform like Zoho Mail is that it gets you into the overall Zoho ecosystem, which has a wide suite of other different types of tools when it comes to productivity, and business software tools, whether it be from accounting to CRM platforms and tools, as well as project management platform. Really, Zoho has a wide variety of other different types of products, and Zoho Mail does integrate directly with those other platforms. Again, whether it be a help desk as well, I've covered a lot of the other Zoho software suite uh, videos here on this channel. If you want to look at maybe some of their other software that they offer as well, I have taken a look at a lot of Zo what Zoho has to offer. Uh, and Zoho Mail, that is a a nice ancillary side benefit of using a platform like Zoho Mail is that you get those direct integrations with their other platforms and their other software tools that you can use all under your same Zoho account, which can save you a lot of time on the integration side of things. And I get that that's what a lot of people do end up using their uh, organization's mail for is to use with other tools in combination. So I did want to just make that pretty clear uh, as well. And it can be a great alternative. So you can also connect your professional email domain if you're wondering, you can connect your company domain as well. Uh, alternatively, if you don't have a domain, you can also just get set up with a Zoho Mail Dummy uh, .com so that that's what I'm doing in here in this tutorial. But you can also do that as well. Uh, in case you don't have a professional domain, uh, you can also get a professional domain through Zoho uh, to go ahead and get that set up so you have custom emails for your business and brand. Uh, you do also have a control panel as well as admin settings if you need to add users, import users users uh, or delete them for some reason, right? And you can also have, uh, you can search through all your different emails. And one of the nice things I do like about Zoho Mail as well, of course they do also have a mobile app, uh, is that it is pretty like ad free, right? One of the other a lot of the other platforms out there kind of have a lot of, you know, ads to help promote their email services. That's one nice perk and benefit as well to Zoho Mail uh, is that they are an ad free email service. Now, when it comes to pricing, again, before we dive into the pricing, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. Pricing is always subject to change depending on when you're watching this video. Pricing may be different. So be sure to check out Zoho Mail's pricing page to get the most realistic and up to date pricing. But without further ado, taking a look at the pricing here and the different pricing structures, they have have a mail light, a mail premium, and a work place. Uh, each of these are a little bit different from one another. So primarily they're billed based on the users per month and billed annually. So that is how it is set up here with Zoho Mail. They do also have a forever free plan. If you are just interested in the free version, they do also have that as well. It is only limited to up to five users, five gigabytes per user, and a 25 megabyte attachment limit. That's almost nothing for attachments. So you might want to use maybe some other tools if you're going to be using attachments or maybe uh, just upload it somewhere and send a link instead. So you're not uploading it directly to Zoho Mail in that case. Uh, but you do also get access to their free mobile apps as well as email hosting for that uh, single domain. If you do have a professional domain, you can also link that there on the free plan. Uh, so you get up to five users, which is not bad if you are a pretty small organization. Maybe it's just you. Maybe you just want to get set up and write out the bat. The nice thing about Zoho Mail and really just Zoho's products in general is they are pretty scalable in the long run. So if you do need to upgrade in the future, you can always upgrade uh, and go from starting on that free plan and you can always upgrade to their professional plans if you, you know, 
push comes to shove and you do need um, that higher scalability, you can easily do that without having to switch platforms, which is really nice. Uh, and definitely something that can't necessarily be said the same for a lot of other tools out there. That's one thing I do really like about Zoho. Uh, so as you can see here, there's a lot of the, the you know, the basic email things like uh, larger attachments, if you're going to be using multiple domains, or if you really just need more users, uh, that's sort of most of the benefits here with their light or premium plans uh, is more storage, more users. Uh, but without ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho Mail. Once you are signed in, this is the dashboard that you will be greeted with on your Zoho Mail account. Uh, as you can see here, we have the mail, the calendar, to-do list, notes, contacts, and bookmarks. I will be walking through briefly on each of those different sections here uh, within the Zoho Mail mail app. You do also have on the right hand side uh, the ability to take a look at your calendar, attachment viewer, settings. Uh, you have an e-widget. You also have the ability uh, to connect to the other Zoho uh, software tools like I mentioned, such as Zoho Desk, Zoho CRM, Zoho Projects, Zoho Work Drive, as well as Zoho Meeting. Uh, those are probably the most common ones that will be linking to your Zoho Mail account. If you need those, you can easily access them here uh, with these uh, clickable buttons here to get to those other apps uh, so they you can easily link those as well you can also add sticky notes and a few other settings here just more so around settings I get my camera is probably covering a couple of those um, really it's just sort of like send feedback reminders product updates basic things um, sort of mundane details or basic things that you, you not necessarily would care about so much um, just basic product updates, things like that. Uh, but up here, as you can see, you have your profile and you also have a link to all other Zoho apps. Like I mentioned before, you do also have all the other Zoho apps that you can easily click through uh, and collaborate with that do also connect to your mail account. Now, if you wanna see sort of what the inbox looks like, this is the inbox here. Uh, you can also change some of the views. So if you have conversation views, uh, you can choose the spacing, hide fields and things like that. If we click in here into this test email, uh, as you can see here, we have welcome at zoho.com. Hello, Brennan. Uh, you know, you have the mail app, you have links to essentially if you need to download it on Android or iOS. Uh, and the ability to then click reply, forward, uh, shareable link to a selected email. Pretty easy uh, going. You can also add tasks from email conversations as well as reminders if you need to uh, maybe set a reminder to reply to a certain email. You also have uh, permalinks so you can share parts of conversations. You can also snooze an email. Uh, your overall inbox and say like, ah, I don't want to see anything from this for a bit. You can snooze things as well on those predetermined time limits. Uh, and you can close out of that there. And that is the sort of their welcome email. You can easily flag delete emails. Uh, you can also see the overall email chain here. If you click that uh, little two there, you can see access from anytime as well as the welcome to Zoho uh, mail. So those are two sort of separate uh, emails there under that same thread. Uh, sent to my Zoho Mail. As you can see, it is Joe Schmo uh, 8675309 at zohomail.com. Uh, so it will be a Zoho at zohomail.com. If you don't set up a custom domain, that is the domain uh, that they will give you uh, for free on here as well. Now, taking a look at the home, you also have uh, different streams. So you can see uh, overall conversations. You have all unread. You have your regular uh, traditional inbox, which is probably what most people care about. You have your drafts. Of course, this is just the dummy account, so I don't have it too much in here, but you also have templates you can get set up with. Uh, snoozed emails, sent, spam emails, trash, outbucks, essentially what you would expect from a traditional uh, mail provider or platform. You can also see, you know, unread all messages. If there's flagged messages, you can check those in a separate section, or if you add tags, you can also create tags as well in your email. If we take a look at the calendar, you can easily go through here and add events to your calendar, uh, which is pretty nice as well. As you can see, you can click through the different weeks uh, into the next year. You can pretty much any traditional calendar, uh, you know, maybe we got things up in June 2030, uh, you know, several years from now, you can set things up. You can print the grid as well. If you want to print out your calendar, you can do that there too. Uh, we look at the to-do list. Now, this one does have some dummy things sort of set up. Now, this is sort of built almost like what things will look like in a, in a project board. Uh, but you can set little personal to-do lists inside your email, which can be useful for some people. Uh, and you can see the due dates. So you can set little due dates as well on to-do lists. So, you know, if you need to add certain statuses, yeah, as you can see here, we could like 
you know, drag drop across boards to change the status, uh, add custom status so you can go through here and even add subtasks as well. So uh, realistically, this is almost set up more like a project management software that you also get built in here uh, into your to-do list section that you can go through and create little descriptions, subtasks. I would say very similar to what you would expect from a project management software tool, such as like Asana uh, that I've used a lot or even uh, Zoho projects as well. That's another tool that you could use for project management. Uh, and that's sort of built in here that functionality within their to-do list. If you need to add subtasks, mention people, due dates, uh, the creator as well as description. So these are little easy things you can go in. You can also set them to low, medium, and high priority as well as reminders on certain days and times. You can set them under personal tasks. Currently, we only have a personal tasks um, board sort of set up. You also have the uh, board view as well, which this really is reminiscent of that Kanban view. So you can see things in sort of like the Kanban view. You can drag things across. You can manage the different fields. You can drag them over from open to closed uh, and really set up little tickets here from your email uh, software inside the to-do list, which is pretty cool that you also get this in here inside Zoho Mail. This is not something, you know, you maybe see with every other kind of email platform. It is something a little bit more uh, unique to Zoho. So you can see the status changes from open to closed, and you can even add additional statuses here if you need to add uh, more options like review or something like that. Uh, you can add in another status, and as you can see, it's under review. So open, closed, and under review, something like that. Uh, so, you know, if you maybe have like someone else that reviews something or you just need to set it for yourself to re-review, things like that. So you can easily do that there. You can create those subtasks, set due dates, or even assign it to other people as well inside your organi organization as well. Um, so you can mention specific people uh, and add those subtasks in here, which is pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, very nice. And then beyond the to-do list, you also have the notes section, which is sort of just an easy place to copy paste things. You can create uh, notes and just go like, you know, type some things, type some things, type some things, uh, and you can go ahead and add it. And then it will pop up as a note. So this could be really good. This is sort of separate from drafting things in your email. Maybe if you just have certain notes that you need to copy from an email and paste it in here, or maybe this would be a good place as sort of like a repository for future emails. If you just want to have some templates or things, or maybe just some, some simple notes, right? Uh, maybe some bullet points that you might be using or replying to certain people with. Uh, you just go in here and easily copy and paste this note. Do whatever you want with it, right? You can uh, add images, attachments, you can change the colors, a lot, add bullet points, formatting, links, everything you would expect. Uh, and it will save here as an easy note. You can also uh, quick add. So we're going to do that. You can also quick add something if you just need to paste in something here. It will then quick add another note. And as you can see, it's under my personal notes, under general. Uh, you can also add additional settings here in different like things. You can also mark things as favorites uh, if you want to as well. Moving along, we also have the contact section, which is pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. You can import contacts, cool. So you can import contacts if you're maybe migrating from another email platform provider. Uh, and easily import them here. You can also add new contacts as well here with you know first name, last name, email address, phone number. You can also add additional information such as you know personal details, addresses, things like that. Uh, instant messaging platforms, uh, different URLs if you need to add some maybe some other information about your contacts as well. And it will pop up here inside this tab section. So uh, you could also you know easily add them there, close out of that. You know, if you need to add a new contact, uh, you can also add new tasks, events, bookmarks, things from here, from this button here as well. If we take a look at the bookmarks section. This is, um, you know, certain things like more so URLs. If you need to bookmark certain URLs and save them here, uh, they also have a plugin as well that can help you do this. So you can save certain URLs and just create like a little bookmark category catalog, uh, sort of separate from like a Google Chrome bookmarks. This would be built within the Zoho Mail app, uh, which could be useful for you if you have certain links that maybe you share with people 
uh, across your emails and things like that, you could easily just come back here to the bookmarks and then go and paste them over to the mail uh, to send them out. So guys, that's a pretty much a general overview here of Zoho Mail. As you can see, it's a pretty easy to learn app uh, with quite a bit of features. And the nice thing is it does connect over to the desk, CRM pro projects, work drive, Zoho meeting, everything else inside the Zoho software suite. So you don't have to necessarily, you know, connect things and stitch them as complicated across multiple different apps. If you do want those direct integrations within the Zoho platform, uh, you also don't really have any ads in here too. So it is pretty nice, seamless, setup in my opinion I do really like the way that Zoho mail is set up and you also do get the to-do list section which is sort of like an extra project management software uh, even just built into the mail app as well as the calendar uh, as well that you can easily go in and add things to. Uh, so guys, that pretty much wraps up this video here on Zoho Mail. Again, if you do wanna get signed up with Zoho Mail, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That will take you right over to this page here where you're gonna start with Zoho Mail today. Again, guys, if you found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.